Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a speed build and I based this build off of a 70s style house, so I guess a mid-century modern. I don't know. I don't know what 70s is technically called in build wise like build wise, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But um, most 70s houses are one story, like they're usually ramblers and stuff like that. You know, long um, skinny houses, but I don't prefer those type of houses. I prefer a two-story. I don't know. I just like having the living area and the bedrooms like separated, if that makes sense. But yeah, it's really boxy, and you can tell that I put the chimney in the front because I googled um, some uh, houses on Google obviously because I said Google uh, and the chimney was in the front and I thought that was a different idea so yeah and I think that this house might do very well in Oasis Springs you just have to change like the landscaping and whatnot and I built this like I started building this house before terrain tools came out so I just finished it without terrain tools and yeah, I wanted to do a pop of red for the doors because the outside was pretty plain, like the outside of the house, but then I went back through and changed it to brick and siding, and I'm sorry if you heard that shaking, it was my dog. He just woke up from a nap, so yeah. And it has three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms, and a lot of closets. There's a closet for each of the bedrooms. And a little, I guess, the area with where the stairs are, I guess it's like a little play area for the kids. I don't really know what to call it. But I use these kind of modern windows that came with the base game. And where you see the stairs, I put that as a study area. I put a computer back there, a bookcase, so on and so forth. And for the bathrooms, I use these little square windows. And I hope you guys uh, like like that type. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, now I'm just putting the patio, I guess, outside. And I was debating on whether to put it on a foundation or not. Because the house I found on Google wasn't on a foundation. So I don't really know what I wanted to do. But I ended up not putting it on a foundation, just started putting these columns around to make like a little patio area so we can put a roof over it. And right now I put it as cement for the flooring out there, but I eventually turn it to brick, I'm pretty sure. I believe I turned it to brick. And now I'm just trying to figure out how to get the roof on it because it's not a room. But I think I eventually made it into a room and then I uh, I thought I could stretch the roof all the way across but I just ended up doing those tiny, like the skinny ones, skinny long ones and just doing it on both sides as you can tell. So it kind of wraps around half of the house if that makes sense because it's a square. Anyways. And you also might hear my daughter in the background. She was napping. She might have just woken up. But, yeah. Um, now I'm just finagling because there was a little planting area right by the walkway. And doing the siding. Uh, okay, so I just had to take a little break because my dog's on it outside. And it's like 50 out and it's supposed to be in the 60s today, so... They are going to go out and go outside and play. And now I'm kind of out of breath because I'm still not in shape from having my daughter almost four months ago. She turns four months old tomorrow. Yee! Alright, so I just did the siding. I went for like this gray color. And like I said, I went back through later on in the video and changed the bottom to have brick as well. And now I'm just putting the fireplace and I put some archways in the downstairs. Like for the kitchen and the dining room. 
And I really, like, I kind of like open floor plans, but I don't like to furnish with them. So I always try to close everything off just to try to make it a little bit easier to furnish. And now I'm just trying to figure out what flooring I want where and whatnot. Because most of these style houses, I think they have like, as far as I know, they have like carpet in the living room and wood everywhere else. As far as I know. And they usually have carpet in the bedrooms. Which, I don't prefer carpeting. I prefer hardwood floors just because they're easier to clean and they don't get damaged as much with animals and kids because I do have one of those now <laughs> but yeah I went with a green type of theme for the kitchen walls I used that tiling that came with parenthood and the cabinets that came with parenthood as well And yeah, I'm just putting in all the essentials for the kitchen. I like to work room by room when I build. So, as you guys can see, I'm just doing everything in there at the moment. And sometimes I also like to do the little, like, tabs for each room in a row. And you can tell I kind of cluttered it up a bit. Sorry, my screen just went black. I have no idea why that happened. So if there's a black screen in here, sorry, I don't know why it happened. Like when I was editing this, it didn't want to play because it said that it was still processing the videos. So it wouldn't skip a lot. So I just put them all together. So if there's something that needs to be cut out, again, I'm sorry. I was having technical difficulties because I upload at 3 p.m. every day. Even though last week I skipped a few days because my husband came home and then it was Thanksgiving. <sighs> but thankfully my daughter has been going to bed at like 8, 8.30 at night. So that gives me a little bit of time to do videos before I mean, my husband go to bed because I record in my bedroom because I have a sewing machine and a desk. It's like a sewing desk. And my daughter is starting to cry now. Yay! But I got done with the kitchen and now I'm just moving on to the living room. I'm just trying to figure out what, like where I want the TV and whatnot. And I kind of use this modern, um, this modern entertainment center and these modern couches. And fun fact, also, um, I'm going to be moving a home next month, which is December, because we currently live in Colorado. So we're going to be moving back home to Michigan, and I can't wait. I miss my family. And now my daughter is starting to whine. <laughs> Don't you guys just love it? But I was going to go for this, like, tan and white theme, because that's, like kind of 70s there was a lot of brown I believe I wasn't around then my mom was just born in 72 so <laughs> uh yeah I don't like I put this tan and wood wallpaper slash paneling on the walls and I was like mm, I don't know about that and then I kind of like that rooster that I put on the fireplace. I guess the mantle. Okay, so I might sound a little bit different. I have my computer next to me because I'm in the living room right now, but my daughter wanted to be held. So now she's on my lap and she's happy. She almost just threw up on me, so lucky me I caught it in time. But yeah, as I was saying, I based this house off I guess I could have cut this part out. Wow, Lisa. How long does this go on for? Ugh. Oh. <sighs> I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Probably goes on forever. Because when I build during the day, my daughter cries. So I have to stop what I'm doing and go pick her up. Or I was talking to my husband while I was doing this. I don't know. I don't remember. No idea. 
But as I was saying, we're moving home to Michigan and I already have a job lined up, a, like an actual job. I know YouTube's a job, but I don't get paid for it right now, which I'd love to get paid for it. But that takes some time and yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Oh, we'll be living with my in-laws in my husband's childhood, well I guess his teenage years bedroom, because his childhood bedroom is his mom's craft room now. Uh, but yeah, and then hopefully we'll buy a house in a few months once we find one that we like, because the one that we like got taken off of the site and we wouldn't have been able to buy it with the VA loan anyways because my husband is getting out of the army after three years involuntary uh, discharge. I couldn't remember that word when I was on the phone with my landlord because I have to figure out how to break my lease without having to pay for it. Ugh. This is why I want to buy a house and I don't like to impose on people considering there's me, my husband, my daughter, and our two dogs. And one dog is a big dog, one dog is a small dog. So, yeah. And there's already two people, a dog and a cat, that live in that house. And it's technically a two-bedroom house, but they used it as a three-bedroom house. Because, I guess, a little landing area. I guess you could call it that was my husband's room when he was a kid. <sighs> How long? There we go. I'm finally changing stuff. I was running out of stuff to say. But I'm changing up the color, the colors right now because I didn't really like that brown theme and tan theme, I guess. I don't know. And I'm just putting some chairs in there so more people can sit down even though a lot of people can sit in that living room now. And I was trying to throw some uh, like different shapes and whatnot in there as well. And colors. Because that picture from, I think that's from City Living. The one behind the floor lamp. But it's really cute. And the one from Seasons Above the Couch is really cute. That one. Although it's winter themed. But I like those colors. I like blue and teal and turquoise and stuff. Literally my wedding colors were turquoise and gold, like sparkly gold, not just the color gold, but sparkles. And I DIY'd most of it. I only had to pay for my wedding dress, which was like 400 bucks, and then the photographer was like 200 or so, and then the ordained minister was like 200 or so. I don't remember. It was a while ago. It was two years ago. Because I got married at 18 military life for you. Anyways, now I'm just working on the dining room. I'm trying to find a rug that will fit into this room even though I had to do a little finagling with the size and whatnot. And now I'm just doing the dining room set and I throw a plant on there eventually. And that's pretty much it for the dining room. And then, oh, did I put, I don't remember putting a picture up there. I think I might have, but I might have taken it down. When I take, when I did take screenshots, I can't talk today. When I took screenshots, there we go. I don't think I saw that picture. And also, I put a a decoration box in that corner next to the bathroom door, but I didn't put that in the build because I was doing that when I was taking pictures because it was Christmas time and I wanted to put lights and decorations and whatnot up. Even though I should have thrown a Christmas tree in here, but I didn't remember that it was Christmas time. Speaking of Christmas time, who all puts up their Christmas decorations before Thanksgiving? And who all puts up their decorations on Black Friday? Because my entire life, we put up our decorations on Black Friday. Anyone else do that? Leave a comment down below if you do it before Thanksgiving or on Black Friday. Like, we don't go Black Friday shopping, at least I've never been. And we put it up on Black Friday. That's what we spend our entire day doing because it takes forever. And that's what my husband and I did last year, but 
we're moving home, so we gotta get rid of a lot of our stuff, furniture-wise and decoration-wise. Like I said, we don't have anywhere to put it. But yeah. Oh, and my job that I got? It's my first job that I ever had. Not now, but I worked there after, right after I got out of high school. So, yeah, and my dad works there. He works on the tire tech side because it's a truck stop. But I work in the restaurant side. And because that's all I've worked in is fast food restaurants. Hopefully that changes in the future. I got an idea that I think I want to own a bakery or a bar. I don't know because I love to bake. But I also like bars. Like I don't drink. I hardly drink. I only drink one drink. It's... Malibu peach rum and sweet tea. And it tastes like peach sweet tea. You can't even taste the alcohol in it. It's so good. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. My daughter almost made me poke my finger in her eyeball. Now I'm just doing the master bedroom. And I did a closet as you can see. And I do those closets in all three rooms. Just I change. I think I changed the teenage room into pink. Like the closet into pink. I don't remember. But I really like this mirror with the lights on it. I wish I had one. They're really cute. And I was just checking to see if I used the same um, painting twice, but I didn't. So yeah, and now I'm just trying to find a car, uh, I guess a rug that goes with the colors of the master bedroom. And I try to keep it pretty modern. I don't really do modern. I do more like traditional and whatnot in old farmhouse styles because I'm a farm girl. I was born I was raised on two farms as a kid until I was ten and then one set of my grandparents died. <laughs> my daughter just gagged herself on my finger because she's teething so she likes to chew. Now I'm just trying to figure out where I want stuff on the nightstand. I only put one nightstand in here because there wasn't room on the other side because of the closet and my recording froze like my video froze so I have no idea what I'm talking over yay go me I probably moved on to the teenagers oh there we go it's working again oh I was trying to put I was trying to put um hill like I was messing around what am I doing? Oh. <laughs> I should have cut that out, but I was messing around with the terrain tools. As you can see, I was just playing with them. I don't know what I was doing. Oh, I think I might have been trying to put like a door in the basement area, but I didn't put a basement in this house. But I was thinking about it if I could put a door down there, like in the foundation. But the, like, the door was just poking out of the side of the ground. Because once you put a basement in it, it, rise, it raises the ground back up. I don't know, I was just trying to do something different. But I couldn't get it to work, and now my daughter is crying again. So, now I believe I'm moving into the teenager's room. I'm still not sure... Oh, nope. Went back to the master bedroom. Now I'm in the teenager's room. And I do, like, gray walls. Hold on, my daughter is hungry. So, I'm going to talk while I do this. I did that pink and gray texture that you get from, I think, Vintage Glamour. And I did gray walls to accent that. Well, I guess that to accent gray walls. But I was trying to make that room a little bit girlier. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of pink. Like, I'm not a girly girl. I'm not meaning that in a bad way. I'm just saying I'm more of a tomboy. Like, I like camo and stuff. Okay, now my daughter's eating. But I also put the Vintage Glamour desk in there because I had a desk in my room, so why not? And I also threw a TV on the side of that, like on the corner, I guess. So she could have friends over and watch TV while they hang out in her room. And yeah. I'm just 
cluttering it up a little bit because who doesn't like clutter? And now I'm just trying to get that. I think it's a makeup thing. I don't remember what it is. Like in the correct spot on the desk and it took me forever. And then I was trying to figure out what to put above that. Like on the wall. Painting wise. I think that's a Marilyn Monroe painting or whatever. Like a portrait. But yeah. And I just put a little calendar up with some stickers and whatnot and this uh, wall hanging thing. I guess it's kind of a tapestry but like a beaded one. Now I'm just putting some Christmas lights up because who was a teenager and didn't have Christmas lights up in their room? And I also put some banners above her closet and used the another mirror with lights on it but it's in the pink instead of the black. And I put some candles on her nightstand. And I think that was pretty much it for that one. And now I'm moving on to the kids' room. Maybe. Or is that near gray? I can't tell. <sighs> Come on. Sorry. I think I paused again right here. I don't remember. But we are just going to wait for me to start again. Come on. Come on. There we go. We finally put the walls down. Now I'm just trying to figure out what wall I wanted to use. And I used this, like, rainbow confetti, I guess you could call it. And I was just trying to figure out where to put, like, the bed and whatnot. Okay, so I just had to pause this a fourth time because my landlord called me back for information about breaking our lease. And surprisingly, it's not that expensive or time consuming. <laughs> it's only one month's rent and 30 days notice if possible. So hopefully I can do that soon. But yeah, um, I'm just putting some pictures up on the wall and I did some rainbow curtains and a little dollhouse. Okay, so fifth time coming back because my daughter started crying because she detached. Perks of breastfeeding. Especially getting clawed. I need to cut her nails, so that's all my fault. But now I did the master bathroom. Now I'm just decorating it a little bit. Sorry about the coughing, that's my daughter. I guess she was choking. She always does that. She takes too much at a time. Like, too much milk at a time. Now she's getting an attitude. Yeah. And I popped over to the kids' bathroom. So apparently my daughter wasn't hungry. She just wanted to cuddle. Anyways, I popped over to the kids' bathroom and I put a tub-shower combo in here. Oh, and I also did a pink rug, which I thought was a little different because I don't really style with pink unless it's for like kids or whatever. And I was just trying to see what swatch for the shower would be a good combo for this bathroom because it is a small bathroom. <sighs> and then I just put the same sink and toilet in here, same mirror, and I threw a rug in there, and, like, I have, you know what's crazy, I just realized I have this, the same rug, but a bigger one, and tan in my house right now. Soon to not be my house. I can't wait! Oh, Rent is expensive here. Don't move to Colorado. <laughs> but I just put a little chemist a uh, station thing, a little game area, a drawing table, a guitar, if anyone ever wanted to play guitar. And then I just tried decorating it so it didn't look so bland. So I feel like if you don't put anything on the walls, it gets super bland. And now I'm moving on to the landscaping, which I just, I put the same trees that are in the neighborhood in our yard. And I put some bushes in the little short wall areas. 
and I had to stick one half like a, a little bit into the chimney because it was too long but then when I made it smaller it was too short and I moved this tree over out of the backyard so we didn't have two trees compromising our, our space and I put some little planters there because yeah that was like that in the picture and my daughter just burped I don't know if you heard that but yeah I put a little fire pit there's the decoration box I did record that part I put a swing monkey bars a little picnic table a grill oh and a basketball court I also made that area like the driveway so I put a truck there I think it was a truck if I remember correctly, it was a truck. But I also put some little rocks and bushes and whatnot in the backyard to make it a little more decorated. And yeah, I just went around like with the terrain paint with dirt. I also put the pl big planter boxes there. But I went around with the dirt and I sprayed everything down. And I put a ton of outdoor lights around. I feel like you never have enough outdoor lights when you play The Sims. Because it gets super dark. But I also put a chess table. I forgot about that. Because I didn't have one in the house. I always include a chess table in my builds. At least I try to. If there's room. But yeah. I felt like this fence that I used. The one that came with um, Get Together. Was like super fitting of a 70s style house. And yeah, I think that's everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and let the video finish up by itself. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. And yeah, have an awesome, awesome day. Bye.